Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is a follow-up video to me flashing QMK and uh, TMK on your board. So for this video I'm going to go over QMK and how you can customize it and make your own key maps and build your own firmware so then you can flash it using the previous video. You also need to make sure that you've watched the previous video because I set up the virtual machine which you'll need to able to do all this. The first step is kind of optional. Uh, I highly recommend it, but sign yourself up with a GitHub account. Just go to github.com and sign up and it's free. So there's this little fork button right here, which allows you to make a complete copy of their uh, repository and then you can add your own stuff into it. So in my case, I added the keyboard or the keyboard let's split is already in here. Okay, so we got let's split, key maps, and then we have my custom thing called Sean. And so now I'm different from uh, the QMK firmware because if you go back in here, uh, they have the same layout, except they have keyboards. And then you go to let's split and key maps there's no Sean in here. And I can't really commit directly to the repository and I don't really plan to. By forking the repository allows you to keep your own separate files, but you can still update off the old files. Uh, so I highly recommend that. It's not, you don't really need to. If you're just planning to do one-offs or you don't care about backing up your work, then just go ahead and go here and say clone or download. If you fork the repository, then you have the clone and download in yours and you should be copying that. So I'm gonna copy mine instead of copying theirs. Uh, so the next thing you wanna do is make sure your virtual machine is running just make sure to start it and then I'm going to open up putty so I can SSH into it and so you can do QMK load this open now I can log in as Ubuntu Ubuntu so now I'm logged in and what you want to do next so you are in your own home folder you can list your files with LS you notice that I have that hex file from previous session uh, you can do this git clone and what it's going to do is just download everything you need and then we can look at it. At this point, if you're a Windows user, you probably don't want to use the terminal and I don't blame you and it might be a little bit easier to show you this visually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with this WinSCP. So let's go to desktop and I have a temp directory here. So I'm not going to copy the whole QMK firmware because it's just, it's too big. And uh, I'm going to go into key, uh, the QMK firmware keyboards and then I'm just going to copy over the let's split folder. There we go. So now we have this let's split on our computer here. So here's what all the files look like. Um, the way this is sort of configured is you have your major revisions of your firmware one and two. This is going to be specific to the let's split. Uh, so whenever you're making it, you just need to know you want to do revision two. And then what you really need to worry about is inside this key maps. So there's all these different folders. Every single folder here is its own little key map. And so what I did is I just copied the default. So I just did like in control C, control V, and I renamed that to Sean, and then I edited it. Uh, but I already have my own here. So you have two files here. Uh, you have config.h. So there's not too much in uh, config.h. Uh, one thing that you need to be worry about is if you want to connect up the USB to your left hand, just leave it alone, master left. If you want to connect up to the right hand uh, with the USB, uh, then you comment out this guy by uh, going here and saying double slash and then uncomment with taking out the slashes. So that's all there is. I use the left hand because it works fine. And then the other file that you want to look at is the main meet, which is the key map that see. This is my key map. So at the very top, you have uh, layers. So each layer is, let me just take a look at the layers first. So you have the QWERTY layer, which is the main layer. So that's where you have all your letters and everything. You have your tab and all your other stuff here. Then you have your function layer, which a function layer is if I press this F1 button, then I can, instead of when I press uh, the Q, it turns into a one. That just allows you to have change the key into something else. And then similar with the F2, uh, FN2, I can go and do my F keys and do my symbols and that's basically how it works. So you can define as many layers as possible. Or I think actually it might be limited by RAM, probably like 16 or so. I don't know the exact specs on a QMK, but you know, 
within reason. And I just used three. That's all I really need for this keyboard. These defines here are just the way to, uh, to change a number, which is zero, into a QWERTY, which is the name of the uh, layer here. So when you see this like uh, brackets QWERTY brackets equals key map, that's just a fancy way to say the first layer is this key map. And then you have uh, function underscore one or underscore function one, which is this is one and function underscore two, which is index two. Uh, above each one, I made this nice little ASCII key map before it was not split and this didn't look as nice, but it's ASCII. This is, you know, who cares? but I like it to look nice so you can see what you're doing. Anyways, so you have each one of these uh, guys in the ASCII represents one of these in here. So there's a whole bunch of key codes you can do. You can notice that most of them start with uh, KC underscore and then something. So KC underscore tab, Q, W, E. Then you have some special ones like KC underscore DL, which is delete and backspace. So where do you find all these key maps? Um, if you go to the QMK uh, GitHub, it's linked here, there is documentation. So it's docs.qmk.fm, and here's the documentation. So this actual guides you through everything that I'm talking about now and even more. This is the most complete documentation there is. So you, first you wanna look at uh, creating a key map. In here, there is this, like says basic key codes and then another one is like basic key codes again. So this is under the reference the section, reference of basic key codes. So what this is, is it's gonna show you, okay, KC underscore enter, and here's what it actually is, here's enter. So it has a whole list of everything that you need to know about, you know, what to put here. And then there are little special things like Sometimes you want to do a shift and a key all in one key press. So for example, uh, I have this, uh, yeah, for example, I have this bracket here. And then if you actually press shift and bracket, which you can do still, but it's easier if we just have one uh, key to do it since this is a function layer. So you can actually type just the, the bracket here, which is LCBR. So these are the basic ones. They're not the shifted ones, but they do have the shifted ones in the quantum key codes here. So in the quantum key codes, you have a lot of special stuff. Um, uh, for like turning on backlights and RGB stuff. Tells you about the function layers as well. Let's see, if you come down here, it's a US ANSI shifted symbols. So this is all the keys that are, if shift and a key will make this character, but you can all do it all in one. Now that we have all of our key maps defined and hopefully that's understandable, then we have this down here. You don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, you can, add, if you added a new, uh, say you had a function layer three, all you can do is go here and paste that and say, okay, I want function layer three. That's all you really need to know. And then you can go put a three here and a three here. So this copy paste and put in your new number. So there are different things you can do, like you might want a function to actually switch to a layer permanently. Uh, so when you release the key, you're still on that function layer. And those are a little bit different. Uh, so if in that case, you wanna follow like the QWERTY one, because the QWERTY layer is the default layer and you're always gonna be switching back to it after you release a key. But on these ones, they're only temporary. So you can just copy one and then just change the case and the layer number. And that's basically it. Once you have your layout that you want, let's go back to this WinSCP. Since you edited Windows, you need to get it back over to your virtual machine. So go back to your WinSCP and just go in here and say key maps. And I want to upload this guy but make sure it goes into the same folder. And I didn't need to change anything, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. The next step is actually building it. And this is specific to the Let's Split keyboard. So we wanna go into uh, the QMK firmware folder on your virtual machine, and then keyboards, and then Let's Split. In the case of Let's Split, we want revision two. So we just say make REV2 and enter. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through and make all the key maps. Okay, so all the key maps are made. So where is your hex file? 
Your hex file is actually at the root of the QMK firmware folder. If you go up uh, three directories, you are too far up. So you want to go back into your QMK firmware folder. An LS lists all the files again. So now you see, okay, we have let's split, revision two, Adam, default, Irgadox-ish, Sean. So here's all your hex files, and that's all you really need to do. So now you can uh, use that hex file and watch my previous video or remember how you did it and go ahead and flash your firmware. So I hope that was helpful. If you have more questions, then please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe. Till next time.